hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be testing out another foundation and this one has been a cult classic for years and years and everyone absolutely loves it i've only seen positive reviews on it and it seems to be that if you try it out you really do like it and this is the vita lumiere aqua from chanel and i've had this in my collection for about a year now but i'm one of those people where i've been testing out a lot of foundations i've been using out a lot of my other foundations that i've opened because i don't want them to expire and i really didn't want to test out another foundation until i really got through mine and i am doing pretty well with them so i decided now i was going to go ahead and test out a new foundation and like i said everyone raves about this and it's one of the cult classic products from chanel so i thought i would go ahead and test this out today and my skin is looking a little bit better i don't have as many blemishes and as much acne as i have been previously in the last few months so hopefully it's going to look pretty good on my skin so if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure you hit the bell icon just so you're notified every time i load a new video so like i said this foundation foundation is a cult classic and Chanel lovers absolutely love this foundation and I've been really intrigued in it for the last few years but last year I decided to bite the bullet and go ahead and purchase it and I do have very oily sensitive skin and I haven't actually seen any reviews on my specific skin type because I think people tend to steer away from it and it's usually one of those for dry and oily combination skin so we'll see how it goes on my skin and see if I get a reaction see if I get oily throughout the day so I do have this in the shade 30 beige and this is probably the closest match for me I'm usually BD31 which is a warm undertone because I do match all my foundations to my neck and my body because I don't self tan my face but to be honest if it is too neutral I don't really mind because I have just purchased some new mixing drops from LA Girl apparently they're supposed to be really good so if I do like the foundation then I can just mix it with those so this foundation retails for £40 so it's not cheap at all but it's probably the cheapest foundation that Chanel do have. So if you do want to test out a Chanel foundation, I recommend going ahead and picking up some of the cheaper ones. So for Chanel foundations, it's affordable, but for a normal foundation, it's pretty expensive. So this only comes in 12 different shades, which is the only thing that I really don't like about it because obviously, like I said, you can't get any warm undertones. It is all neutral or very pink undertones. And they do go from very fair. And then the last one is pretty deep as well, but they just don't have many in the middle. And it stays on the website a Radiance Revealing Fluid Foundation that instantly energises the complexion and delivers intense comfort. As sheer and lightweight as a second skin, its formula unifies the skin tone, diminishes signs of fatigue, instantly giving the skin a healthy glow. The complexion looks fresh, luminous and perfectly even. Mineral powders and light reflecting pearly particles leave the complexion looking even and luminous. A hyaluronic acid derivative provides long-lasting comfort, lotus water and a natural brown seaweed extract help restore vitality and tone and SPF 15 sunscreen and this seems like it's going to be a really good foundation it seems like it's got a lot of skincare in there to help your skin it's going to be a second skin effect so don't expect it to be full coverage i'm expecting it to be like a light coverage but then buildable to be possibly medium but i really like light medium coverage foundations and sheer foundations so we're going to go ahead and zoom in and we're going to test out this foundation so if you want to see how it goes then just keep watching so we're all zoomed in and ready to test out the foundation and i've already primed my skin use my two favorite primers they're both from elf i have the matte body primer and the blemish fighting one and as you can see these are my go-to's i use them all the time when i do my makeup i love them and i know exactly how they go with all my foundations so with a bottle it looks exactly the same as the ultra latent velvet so this one is the Vita Lumiere Aqua and then this one is the Velvet Foundation so they look exactly the same the only difference is the Velvet one is black and it has a matte lid and this one is really shiny it's exactly the same so you do have to shake it before you use it and then if you open it up you have the little dropper on there which I actually prefer because I feel like these are so good for travel if I'm traveling anywhere I'll just go with my ultra latent velvet foundation because it's just so easy to put in my makeup bag so that's something that i do like about this that is very easy and good for travel you also get 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce as well in them so the standard so i'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand and it is so liquidy like really really liquidy yeah that that's so liquidy so you can see that it's also running down my hand very quickly so the brush that i'm going to take is the real techniques 200 brush i use this all the time if i'm using a brush on my face and i'm just going to apply it to half of my face and then we can see what the coverage looks like
this is what one layer of the foundation looks like and I feel like it looks so nice and so pretty on the skin so you can see that there is a pretty big difference you can see a lot of redness a lot of blemishes on this side and then on this side it has just evened out the skin tone you can still see my blemishes it is a light coverage foundation but the shade isn't too bad compared to my neck now it is looking quite light so I feel like I could probably go a shade darker but it just it looks so nice like you can see that my redness is almost covered up here and then on here you can see that I have a lot of it so it just looks like it's evened out my skin tone now it is picking up quite a bit where I have dry patches because at the moment I am using a lot of acne fighting products and parts of my skin does tend to get pretty dry so it is picking up a lot on my top lip and then also on my chin inside of my nose but to be honest everywhere else it looks really really pretty and I'm so happy with the way that it looks so I'm really I really do like it and I would happily go out with my skin looking like this because it's a really nice coverage and you can't really see my blemishes that much compared to the other side so I'm gonna go ahead and build up a little bit more on the areas where I do have blemishes so like on my cheek and then a little bit of redness on my chin so I'm just gonna build it up and see how it goes It does build up really well and I can see that a lot more redness has gone on my cheek but I'm really happy with the way that it looks I would happily go out with this coverage it builds up very nicely on my nose it's not building up very well but that's because I'm getting quite dry around my nose at the moment then on my chin you can still see a bit of redness but again I am very very dry there so I feel like if you are very dry it probably won't be a good foundation for you because it's not mattifying but it's sort of like a semi matte so it's not a glow it looks really natural with my oily skin it's looking nice with my dry patches it's looking okay not really too fussed with that but i feel like it looks really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and we're gonna use a sponge and see if we can get a different coverage and see how it looks that's one layer with the sponge and I feel like it looks pretty much exactly the same as with the brush it looks exactly the same I can't really see any difference on there I feel like that it looks a little bit cleaner with the sponge but that's just because I love using sponges for every foundation I have so you get pretty much the same coverage it looks pretty much exactly the same so I'm just going to build it up a little bit more on my cheeks I do have a little bit of redness on there and then also on the side of my face as well looking at both sides of my face they look pretty much exactly the same this foundation builds up very easily it looks very nice and smooth on the skin it looks very natural as well i do feel like in these lights it's looking pretty pale compared to my neck so i feel like i might need to go a shade up if i was to get this foundation again but again it looks so nice so natural on the skin you can still see the blemishes but they're not very obvious and it is a light buildable to medium coverage foundation and I'm really really happy with it I feel like that if you are someone who has a lot of acne you probably would like this as well because it's not accentuating my acne at all and it's just basically taking away the redness of it so it's really nice like I said I am looking a little bit dry on certain areas so underneath my nose on my chin and also on top of my nose because that is where I'm getting really dry at the moment so it is looking dry there and looking a little bit cakey but that's just because of how my skin is at the moment so I feel like if I didn't have the dry patches it'd probably look pretty much perfect like it does around the rest of my face so I am really excited and so happy with this foundation so far so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup then come back show you what it looks like and let you know how the rest of the products glided on so I've just finished off my makeup and this is what it looks like and this foundation looks so pretty on the skin it just looks so beautiful it looks very natural and it's covered up a lot of my redness and my blemishes as well I feel like my entire redness has been covered up I do still have a little bit of blemishes happening on my skin but you know what it looks absolutely beautiful beautiful the only part that it doesn't look nice is on my nose and that's just because every now and again I tend to have issues with foundation sticking to my nose I don't know what it is it's just every now and again the rest of it looks very beautiful the rest of my products just glided on so easily and I am so impressed with the way that it looks so in natural lighting it does look a little bit more glowy on the skin but I just use my powder which I usually use and all of that is just gone but it looks very nice and healthy it doesn't look 
like an oily horrible look on the skin it just looks a little bit more glowy other than that it looks so pretty my pores don't look accentuated and it just looks it looks beautiful i didn't think it would look this nice on the skin and it also has blurred a lot of my imperfections as well so i'm really really happy with it where it was looking cakey at first where my chin is and then also my upper lip now it doesn't look cakey or horrible or anything like that i think because now i've put the rest of my products and my powders i've put on my concealers and things like that so it just it looks so nice and there's nothing negative that i can say about it other than the shade match is not the perfect shade so it's now half past 11 in the morning so i'm going to come back in a few hours let you know how the foundation's been going during the day then i'll come back at the end of the day and let you know how it looks if i like it and if i don't and just show you how it looks at the end of wearing the foundation I'm back and it's now half past five in the evening so i've had a foundation on now for six hours and i'm now doing an update in natural lighting so you can probably hear that there are some birds that are tweeting at the moment so please do not mind that because i'm outside of my back garden but i just wanted to give you a check-in because i've just got back from my mum's it is mum's day today so been out and about when it hers as well you know spending some time with her and honestly after six hours my skin looks so beautiful my mum even complimented me on the way that my skin looks and she said that i look nice and glowy but you know what it looks really really pretty i am so impressed with this at the moment so you can see in natural lighting that the color you can see that my neck is a lot more warm toned and then my face is neutral toned so like i said that's completely fine because i have ordered some of the mixing drops so i will just use that next time i use the foundation but so far six hours it is looking absolutely beautiful i can still see that my nose is still looking cakey but it did look cakey when i was applying it because i'm just having issues with my nose today my chin is looking a little bit cakey and then also on my upper lip but again i am having dry skin around there anyway so i wouldn't be shocked and then on my forehead it's not actually looking shiny like it's, it's looking glowy but it's not oily and it's not like super shiny if you can see so I can see the wrinkles in my forehead that are coming through right here but it hasn't actually come off on any areas of my face at all still have it on the sides of my face which are the first places that any foundation comes off of but you know what it is still looking really really beautiful where I've had my glasses on the sides of my nose it is looking cakey there but everywhere else it's looking completely fine it's looking really good and i'm shocked that it's been doing this well in six hours so i just expected that it was going to be coming off after a few hours because it's not necessary for oily skin i really like it i feel like it's very beautiful my skin feels very soft and it just looks it looks very natural on the skin it doesn't look horrible so i'm really impressed with it and i'll come back at the end of the day and give you a final review and let you know how it's been going it's the end of the night and it's now half past 10 in the evening and i've had this foundation on now for 11 hours and i'm so tired i need to get this makeup off and i really just need to go to bed and go to sleep i'm so tired right now so i am very very impressed with this foundation i have just looked at my skin and i don't actually look that bad so i originally thought this foundation was going to be one that is specifically just for normal skin or dry skin and it would go really bad on my oily skin and i'm pleasantly surprised because this looks so good at the end of the day it has been 11 hours since i finished off my makeup so it's actually been on for longer than 11 hours and it still looks so good now you can tell that it has come off on my forehead i am super super oily on my forehead that is where my oils always peek through so i am super oily on my forehead and it has come off on there and then around the sides of my nose it's come off as well again where i get very oily on the tip of my nose it's come off but again that's how it looked when i first applied it and then also on the sides of my nose where my glasses are it's come off a little bit of my chin's come off but on the sides of my face where all of my foundations come off it has not come off my highlighter my blush my bronzer everything is still on the skin and it still looks pretty good i mean i'm pleasantly surprised because i thought this would do really bad i thought i would go oily after a few hours i didn't think it was going to stay on my skin i thought it was going to look awful by the end of the day and it doesn't it it genuinely looks good now it has been 11 hours since i applied it so 
any foundation that I wear other than my Estee Lauder double wear is going to look oily on my forehead every single foundation because that's just how I am I am so oily I'm an oily mess and it's it's literally just how my skin looks so I didn't feel anything on my skin at all during the day it didn't feel heavy it felt very lightweight felt like I was wearing moisturizer which I really liked the rest of my makeup just glided on so nicely and so easily and it looked very flawless on the skin as well the only thing I don't like is the undertone it is too neutral the fact that they don't do any warm undertones in this foundation is annoying for me because I really like it and when I first applied it I did try with my fingers I tried with a brush and also with a sponge and it looked pretty much the same if I was using a sponge or a brush built up very easily I didn't even need to go over this side which I usually do with a sponge I didn't have to go over it which was great for me the only place that it looked horrible was where I am very very dry so on my chin and also on my upper lip and on my nose because that's where I tend to get dry from all of my acne products so it's one of those where at the moment I tend to be more combination because I do have dry patches on the skin so that was the only way that it didn't look very good but it looked really nice on the rest of my face it built up very easily as well I did also like the fact that with one layer it covered up pretty much all of my redness you could obviously still see the blemishes but the redness has gone down a lot from using the foundation and I've never really had a foundation that looks so natural on the skin where it's covered up all of my redness and my blemishes don't look super obvious I've never had that with foundation before and I really do like the way that it looks on the skin without the rest of my makeup and then with the rest of my makeup it just looks so nice and even my mum today complimented my skin and said that I look very glowy and that's something that I like the fact that someone hasn't said that it looks fake or that you can tell that you wear makeup I asked Neil earlier what he thought about the foundation he said it looked nice so I like I said I'm pleasantly surprised I really like the foundation and I'm so happy that I tested it out I feel like my top two foundations are going to be this one and then the Latente Velvet foundation from Chanel because the Latente Velvet one that one has more of a matte finish and this one has more of a semi matte or glowy finish very natural on the skin so I feel like these two are going to be my go-to foundation and the fact that this has lasted so long on the skin it it's just crazy and then at the six hour mark when I was doing my check-in in natural daylight it hadn't come off anywhere it looked pretty much exactly the same as when I first applied it and like I said I've had no irritation I haven't felt it on the skin and it it just looks so good and I'm so impressed with it so this is a foundation that I'm going to be using a lot it's going to be a new go-to of mine and I give it a massive thumbs up as well so if you guys do want to test it out then I definitely recommend you going ahead and getting it if you do have dry skin I don't feel like it's going to be the best for you on your dry patches but other than that I say go ahead and try this foundation out I definitely think it's worth the money and I've seen so many amazing reviews on this foundation and people have been absolutely loving it and in all honesty I I'm loving this as well. I've only been using it for one day, but already I really like it and it's one of the best foundations I've tried out on my channel. I can't really say any more other than that I really like it and I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. So this is my review of the Vita Lumia Aqua Foundation from Chanel. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you've tried out this foundation and if you like it or if you don't, just comment down below to let me know. And if you have any recommendations of any Chanel products or other products that you want me to test out, then just let me know as well and I'll be sure to check those out. And make sure that you give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!